Hi guys, today we are going to learn about the EMF induced in transformer. In case of transformer, the EMF induced is a statically induced EMF. Okay, so now we will learn about types of statically induced EMFs. So one is self induced EMF and another one is mutually induced EMF. So what is self-induced EMF? Okay. So self-induced EMF is EMF induced in a coil. EMF induced in a coil due to time varying nature of current flowing through the time varying nature of current flowing through the same coil. same coin okay and the second thing is mutually induced emf in the sense emf induced in a coil due to time varying nature of current flowing through another coil another coil so that is mutually induced emf okay let us consider a magnetic core like this okay this one is the magnetic core to which the windings are wounded like this okay so the windings are wounded like this here it is having n one number of turns and at here let us say it is having n2 number of turns okay n2 number of turns now what we are doing is we are connecting an alternating nature of voltage like this we are connecting a supply alternating nature of supply so which results in production of an alternating nature of current okay so which results in production of flux in this coil let us say phi is the flux flowing through this coil here the flux is also alternating nature of flux Yes, I is directly proportional to phi. Alternating nature of current leads to production of alternating nature of flux. This alternating nature of flux will flow through this magnetic core. Okay. So here, some amount of EMF will induce as that is self-induced EMF. Okay. And you this flux now this flux will links with this coil this flux links with this coil like this and which will causes the production of emf in this coil that is mutually induced emf okay so that is called mutually induced emf so emf induced in a coil due to time varying nature of current flowing through same coil is self induced emf and emf induced in a coil due to time varying nature of current flowing through another coil is called mutually induced emf okay now here what was the thing is happening I is the current flowing, alternating nature of current is flowing. In general, we will represent the alternating nature of current as I is equal to I m sin omega t. I m sin omega t. Now, which results in MMF. MMF depends on number of turns. Number of turns. Here, the number of turns are considered as N1. And the current flowing is I. 
Okay. Now, magnetomotive force, MMF is equal to N1 into, what is I? I am sin omega t. Okay. We know that the flux is e phi is equal to MMF by reluctance. What is MMF? MMF is the magnetomotive force and R is the reluctance. What is magnetomotive force? Magnetomotive force is the amount of work done in moving amount of work done in moving one Weber one Weber around magnetic circuit. Okay, this is the thing already we have seen in your previous videos. And R is the reluctance opposition offered by magnetic circuit. Opposition offered by magnetic circuit. Now, flux phi is equal to MMF is N1 IM sin omega t sin omega t by R. Okay, so this will be phi max, phi is equal to phi m sin omega t. Okay, so this is the flux will produces in the coil due to time varying nature of current flowing through the coil. Okay, and now what is that? Self-induced EMF, here the flux was produced. And now we have to learn about self-induced EMF. What is self-induced EMF? EMF induced in a coil due to time varying nature of current flowing through same coil. Okay. So now self-induced EMF. What is the magnitude of EMF induced? The magnitude of EMF induced can be determined by Faraday's second law. According to Faraday's second law, EMF induced is directly proportional to rate of change of flux linkages. E is equal to minus N into D phi by DD. Okay. Here, the self induced EMF is E self is equal to, let us say, ES as a self induced EMF. So, what is the formula? Here it is, minus N. We have taken n1 number of turns, n1 number of turns. So here the amount of flux produced is 5. The amount of flux produced is 5. So ES is equal to minus n1 into d5 by dd. Okay, minus n1 into d5 by dd. So, which is equal to minus n1 into d5 by di into di by dd. This one is self-induced EMF. Okay. So, from that, we will call this one as Entire this thing. We will call this one as self-inductance. That is, L self is equal to, L self is equal to minus N1 into D5 by DI. D5 by DI. In general, the self-inductance of a coil depends on rate of change of flux linkages. D5 is the rate of change of flux linkages. With respect to time varying nature of current flowing through the coil. Okay. The self-inductance, self-inductance depends on, depends on rate of change of flux linkages rate of change of flux linkages with respect to time varying nature of current flowing through the 
time varying nature of current nature of current flowing through same coil okay that is self inductance that is called self inductance and next thing is mutually induced emf so in case of mutually induced emf the magnitude let us consider em is the mutually induced emf is this emf is inducing in en2 number of turns with the flux d5 by dt as already we discussed that transformer is a constant flux device constant flux device the flux is the constant in case of transformer okay so n2 into d5 by dt again the same process minus n2 into d5 by di into di by dt so minus n2 into d5 by di let us consider this one as m where m is called mutual inductance mutual inductance what is m m is mutual inductance mutual inductance of a coil okay so this is about the emf induced in transformer thank you